Hello, just good. You're back to another thoughts video, and today I'm expressing my thoughts on the three Lego Ninjago 2014 sets that we got set images for um, yesterday. And yeah, uh, there's seven sets this wave, and we've gotten pictures for all of them except the last one, which a lot of people are forgetting. Like Brickset doesn't have it listed, and a few other blogs haven't listed it or anything like that. And it's called the Destroyers, and that's set number seven zero seven two six. And yeah, I'm really curious about that because it's. A, it seems like it's going to be a cool set because retail exclusives are always cool. And I'm guessing it's going to be $40, but we'll be getting pictures of that, it seems like, the end of this month, um, October, maybe early November, because that's usually when we get retail exclusive pictures. But before I start, I did get this figure in the mail, which is really nice. And I just want to show you guys this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to review these soon, if I'm ever going to review them, because I'm very busy and I have just some videos planned out, but the main thing is this weekend um, is Pokemon X and Y. And I'm going to be playing that all weekend, so I'm going to be busy Friday, and today I'm busy too. I'm just shooting this kind of quickly. Um, but not rushing, you know, I'm taking my time. Um, I just have to make this under 15 minutes, which is usually what I do. So, anyways, we are going to start out with the first and small set this wave for 2014 January. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any summer sets, but uh, this is the Hover Hunter set. And supposedly it's $10 according to a site which is the worst. And that's a site that uh, they listed all these price numbers and set numbers and prices. And they did it last year and they did it this year too for tons of sets. And basically they're in euros and euros are essentially uh, it's the same prices as US dollar prices. But anyways, um, what did I think of the set? I think it's the worst of this whole wave. So, of these seven sets, I think this one's the worst, and the reason with that is because there's no exclusives for this set, and the build is pretty bad. Uh, the only exclusive in this set is this little Technoblade in this color, which is the greenish color. Um, and that is uh, it, because the two figures come in other sets, and this little vehicle right here um, is just ugly. I do kind of like how they have that Razor Blade right there, but even that, I mean, it's not even exclusive to this set. It's just that it doesn't come in much sets um, that are cheap. But yeah, this is just a huge disappointment. I was hoping Zane would be in this, but I know why they put Cole, and they put Cole in there because there wouldn't be any way to get his Technoblade. But for that, I mean, I wish they would have just put his Technoblade in the $30 set along with Jay's and just put Zane in this one because Zane comes in a freaking expensive set, which is going to be 50 or $60. And as you guys will see later, I do not like that set. I think it's a very pretty um, blech set besides the minifigures. Um... But, of course, it's kind of a smart move by LEGO because more people will buy the big 50 to $60 because it's around that price point, I kind of forget. Um, and more people are going to be buying that because Zane comes in that set. But, yeah, I just really wish they would put Zane in here. I mean, whatever. We got Cole. Um, Cole, he comes in a $30 set. Now, it's fine if a small set doesn't come with exclusive minifigures if the figure comes in a bigger set. Like... For example, Lloyd, he comes in a $20 set, which is an excellent $20 set, mind you, because it comes with a very nice exclusive minifigure, Cyrus Borg, a very cool cycle, and Lloyd. And you'll see the good thing about Lloyd, and he comes in the big um, Ninjoid Mecha Dragon, is because the Ninjoid Mech Dragon, the thing about that is that's $80, and the $20 set is $20, so there's a $60 difference. But with this and the $30 set, if this is $10, then that's a $20 difference, but they might even make this $13, but it seems like it's 10 because I believe Worst listed this as a $10 set. It is a $13, think about it, it's a $17 difference, that's nothing. So I would say if you're better off just buying the $30 set, forgetting about the Technoblade, because to me, the Technoblades look pretty bad, um, because they're very specific to like future stuff, they're not like a blade or anything like that. Um, it's funny because they're called the Technoblades. Like at least the Energy Swords, I think they were called, I don't remember, the Elemental Swords from the 2013 Ninjago Wave were, um, you could kind of use that as, as swords, um, maybe like a fantasy setting, but these, this looks very futuristic, and I don't like how it looks. But yeah, that's just my personal preference, um, and the vehicle itself I think looks pretty bad. Uh, the only part, like I said, I like is this little razor blade right here, but that's just because that doesn't usually come in smaller sets, so maybe I'm just rationalizing, and there's really nothing good with this set. But, um, the vehicle itself kind of reminds me of a Life in Mars set, and I kind of got a lot of Life in Mars vehicles, as they were usually very flat, and they had people standing on them, what I believe, for cheaper sets. Or, sorry, aliens, and the aliens in that set, and those were really bad. But, 
Um, what was I going to say? That this is very disappointing considering Kai's Fire Mech, which was just fantastic. Um, which was another ten dollar Ninjago set, and this one and that one share a lot of similarities because both of them had foot soldiers, both of them were Ninjago, and both of them were ten dollars, and of course both of them had a little vehicle, and. I think that is a strong example of an excellent $10 set because you get an excellent vehicle, I love the mech, and you get an exclusive minifigure which is Kai, but even if Kai wasn't exclusive, I think the mech would make up and it would still be a pretty good set. But you see this one, the vehicle looks pretty bad, um, I mean I don't see this side, but it looks like this. Uh, there's not really anything special to it uh, because it's just like a flat part, like I said, like Life in Mars, and yeah, it just looks ugly to me. Um, but the, like I said, the, um, the Kai's Fire Mech, that was pretty cool because it was a little mini mech. So, yeah, very, very disappointed with that. I think that this w had so much potential. I was hoping Zane would be in it, um, and a cool vehicle. Like, maybe, I don't even know what I was imagining a Hover Hunter. I mean, just the name of it, it sounds like it would be a crappy vehicle. So, maybe I expected too much from the set. But, yeah, will I still pick it up? And a lot of you people are going to be like, oh, you complain, but you're still going to get it. Yes, I will still get it because I get usually cheaper sets if I have a whole setup for it. And since I'm getting a lot of these other 2014 Ninjago sets, because I think this is a pretty strong wave, um, I will be getting this. And I have to say, um, if you guys ask, what's my favorite Ninjago wave? I would have to say, or year, it's 2013. I loved the 2013 sets. I think they were excellent. Um, all of them except maybe Garmatron and the Warrior Bike were kind of. Um, but even those were pretty good. Uh, I don't have Garmatron, and I don't have the Warrior Mech. I might get the Warrior Mech soon, but the deal with Garmatron is, um, if that goes on sale, I'll get it. But I think that's a pretty weak set. That was maybe like a C or B. B at highest, C um, at lowest. Um, but that was still a pretty cool set. I mean, you got the exclusive minifigure, and yeah, and the price wasn't too bad. It was only $40, and you could even find that at like Walmart for 35 and a lot of people are finding it for $30 now, so that's pretty cool. Um... So, yeah, I love 2013 LEGO Ninjago, and I, I don't get why people say 2012 was the best year. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Because 2012 was just, I did not like the snakes. Um, I didn't like the snake vehicles. I didn't like the snakes. I think it's. I think the same thing is going to happen to 2014 Chima, except worse. And 2011 was pretty good. I thought, I liked how it had a little bit of structures. Like, the small sets were kind of structures, and they weren't vehicles. Um, and... Garmadon's Dark Fortress, I always liked, but some people don't like it. <laughs> Be kind, so rewind. <clears throat> um, the, I love the $120 set, the Fire Temple. I think that's probably the strongest. No offense, Epic Dragon Battle, even though that is still a pretty epic set. Funny, because it's epic. Um, and, but, yeah, 2012 Ninjago, I did not like, because I didn't like the snakes. I thought the snakes and their vehicles were very bland. They were kind of just green, and they were vehicles with a face on it. Does that sound familiar? Uh, yeah. And they all looked like snakes. And the snakes themselves were kind of bland. They were just, I don't know, snakes aren't interesting to me. I like animals and stuff like that, but not snakes. Maybe robots. Robots are cool. Even the stone warriors were pretty cool. But, whatever, what are you going to do? Uh, a lot of people still love 2012 Ninjago. And even the green ninja in that one came in a small set. It came in two sets, and one of them was a spinner. So, yeah, um... The 2012, um, even though it did have its high points, like I said, I did like the, I really loved the Green Ninja, sorry. Um, and some of the smaller sets, like the Venom Mario Shrine was okay. But yeah, for the most part, I did not like that at all. I think it's probably my least favorite. And this may be my second favorite year so far, because I like the minifigures. I think the minifigures really make this wave. Um, and my favorite is still 2013, even with these pictures. Okay. Next one up is uh, the, the Ninja Copter. Uh, the Ninja Copter set, what did I say about this? I don't like the build. I like, only like the minifigures. And the build, I think, uh, someone described it perfectly. Um, the person who first saw the pictures said that it looks like a Galaxy Squad vehicle. And that's what it looks like. It looks like an early version of the Galactic Titan and just a really much crappier version. I do not like those stickers right there, which, of course, people say stickers are optional, but okay. Fine, I'll get over that. I don't like this whole design right here. I mean, it just looks really weird, and this annoys the heck out of me. This little spinner part right here. Um, people may say it's supposed to look at like rotors. Well, first thing, those are too small to be rotors, so it's not really a helicopter. And second thing, those won't probably spin because you can see they're connected as studs right there because that's how the uh, spinner pieces work. So, yeah, don't like the... I mean, the color screen, I guess, for white, it's fine. Um... 
it just kind of makes it look a little bit bland. It doesn't look really futuristic. Um, it reminds me of a 2012. It's funny. It reminds me of a 2012 Ninjago vehicle. Um, maybe more of a, uh, where am I saying? The snake vehicles. Um, I don't like this little turbine, I guess you could say right here. I think that looks ugly too. Um, you, you have those really chunky missiles, which I don't like from agents, which I love agents. Don't get me wrong. And speaking of agents, uh, his hairpiece right there, Zane's hairpiece is from, uh, agents 2.0 set, um, where the guy has it in that color. But, you know, it, that, in that color, the tannish color, that hairpiece hasn't really been used for a while, so it's pretty cool that we're getting that again. Pixel. Now, Pixel is exclusive to the set, and that's kind of a surprise minifigure. What do I think of Pixel? I think that figure looks pretty ugly. Um, I don't know if it's he or she, but first off, I think the hair looks really off place because there's nothing holding it right there. Like, there's nothing to be held there. And that's from Monster Fighters, of course, but this is in gray. Um, so this is exclusive to this color um, in for this set. And uh, the figure itself, I think, I guess, uh, maybe the the face looks a little bit too goofy for me. But, I, I mean, I guess I could see it will, it will have uses. And the robes is kind of, eh. But, you know, I like purple. I wish it was a purple ninja. Like, that would be so cool. And if there is, who knows? They might put it in the, the summer wave, if there is a summer wave. But, yeah, very, very weak set. Um, just because of the price, I think. The price is 50 to $60. Um, I just like the minifigures. And even the evil people... Uh, the Ninjoids, they have pretty bland minifigures that are kind of common to get. Sorry about that. Uh, you get this guy, which comes in a small set, and I'm pretty sure that's the same hair piece, headpiece they use for all the other um, little lackeys or uh, foot soldiers. Ninjoid foot soldiers, that's a better word. And you do get General Cryptor, which does come in a $20 set, the Kai Fighter. So yeah, very disappointed about this set. The only reason to buy it would be for the minifigures. And you do get that little blade right there. And, oh, I almost forgot, you do get the Crope piece right there, which the crow piece does come with Tonto, so I don't know why a lot of people are hyped up for it. And yeah, it's not really rare, but it's from the TV show, supposedly it's uh, Zane's Crow, or Falcon. They call it the Fal Falcon, I believe. So yeah, very disappointed about the set. Will I pick it up? Most likely not. Out of all of them, this is the one I'll pick up the least, I think. Or I'm the least likely to pick up. Next one is the Ninjoid Mecha Dragon, or Mech Dragon, sorry about that. Uh, I like, I really like this set because First off, I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. Um, and a lot of the other sets have purple. But I think this is a very strong set because of minifigures. I think... Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> the minifigures of this set are just very special because you get Sensei Gromadon, which is a change-up in the story. You can see now he is good. And he is Sensei. And he does have that... Uh, Lloyd's hair in gray, that dark gray, which is the same as JJJ from the Daily Beagle showdown set for superheroes. And you do get Evil Wu, which is a change up in the story because it shows that, hey, since I Wu, he's evil now. Um, and his beard piece isn't exclusive to him because it also comes in the Dragon Mountain set in that color. Um, but it's, he's still a really cool figure because he's a cyborg and he has that nice um, hat piece in gray, which hasn't come out yet. Or has it? Let me think. Yeah, I don't think it's coming gray. Unless it was like in a uh, ship set for uh, Star Wars, because they like to include that in some other sets, like just as a detail, not even as a hat piece. But you can see he does have a nice torso, it looks like. And the dragon itself is really, really cool. Well, I really like it. I genuinely like it. And you can see um, it has a brick build head instead of a molded head, which is really cool. Um, it's probably not my favorite dragon. I still have to say Golden Dragon is still pretty cool because I like gold. Um, but yeah, it's really, it looks a little bit like a dark version of the epic dragon battle and a little bit more mechanized because it's supposed to be mechanical. And, oh my gosh, things keep on falling. Uh, you can see there's some nice, I'm hoping those are printed pieces. I know this one seems to be a printed piece, but that would be really cool as a printed piece. Um, and then they could get away with not out putting any stickers in the set. Which is really cool because I believe the Epic Dragon Battle had a lot of stickers. Don't quote me on that, please. Um, and you do get some Ninjoid foot soldiers, which are nothing special. And you do get Lloyd's little vehicle right there, which would be kind of so rewind. Again, he really loves that vehicle. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's like a Ultrasonic Raider without the treads. Um, and that's kind of like a contrast to the Thunder Raider because Thunder Raider does have treads. So yeah, um, that's it for this. And one last thing I wanted to get away. Uh, the Hobbit Desolation of Smog box art looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. I'm sorry. Love this. Tops an unexpected journey. So that's it for this. I'll see you guys later with some more stuff. Hopefully. Bye.